Alrighty guys, hello and welcome. For those of you who don't know, my name is Nick and I'm a flight attendant. But today we're doing something not really flight attendant related because, you yeah, know, something different. Today we're actually doing an unboxing because I just got this huge ash package here and this package is from Fashion File. So for those of you who don't know, Fashion File is a company that does luxury handbags. And let me give you guys a quick look of like what the inside looks like because the inside is huge. So that, this is the inside of the bag. And the inside of the bag comes with a thank you card for the purchase, which is really cute. I, I like these bags. I've never ordered from them before, but I've ordered other designer handbags before. So it comes with a thank you card, which is really cool. And this is all of my paperwork. It is my receipt, a little certificate of authenticity that what they do is authentic and real. It has a shop, sell, repeat. And then we want your bag back, which means they'll buy my bag back at a fraction uh, for a cost of what I bought it for. And then the certificate of authenticity. And then what I do like about their bags is that their motto is used is the new new. So we'll pull it out now. It didn't come with the original dust bag, but that's okay. Fashion File comes with uh, their own dust bags. And I wanted this bag for quite a long time. And I definitely got a steal on the bag when I bought it. So we'll pull it out. It has black handle, which is cool. Oh, and it smells so good. And this is the bag, guys. It is the Louis Vuitton uh, kimono in black, medium size. And overall, it looks amazing. Like, the, the condition was good when uh, I ordered it online. It said there was, like, minor issues on, like, the... Uh, interior but I didn't see any in the pictures. What Fashion File does is it has this right here that says leave this tag on the bag and if you remove it it's yours forever. So like what I said like what Fashion File does with these bags is that if you decide you want you don't like it and you return it you have to have this on it or else you don't get full price for the bag back. Which I don't think I'm going to return it because I do absolutely adore this bag. Um, on the interior of the bag. Well, let's show you guys the outside before I move on to the interior. The outside of the bag is this. It has uh, a black leather on one side, monogram uh, canvas on the other. Canvas pleating, which isn't bad. It's kind of super cute. Um, I enjoy it. Back sides the same way, monogram canvas pleating uh, handles. Same thing on the back. But what I do like about this bag is the bottom has for uh, divots or pleats, it's which is a little used, a little scuffed up, but that's not a huge deal. No one really sees the bottom of the pleats, so that won't be too bad. But then there's that. Um, what I really, really enjoyed about this bag, especially, is this: is that the gold V that goes down the middle. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bag, and it's been on my wish list forever. They also have a red one, but red doesn't really go with all my stuff, so I ended up going with black. But on the interior, it is a buckle closure. There is no uh, zipper, which isn't a huge deal, and then we'll take out the bubble wrap. And on the inside, it has two big compartments. It has one right here. It has itty bitty thing right in the middle and then it has one on the other side. Um, the middle compartment is not, it's just kind of hanging there, but it's not a huge deal. It is made in, this bag was made in France. It has uh, these three compartments in there, which isn't too bad, but overall this bag was literally the bag of my dreams. Now that I have that one, one bag is checked off my list. The next bag I want is an Hermes Kelly in black. The reason why I got this bag in general is that it was kind of special to me. It was the fact that I moved to Fort Lauderdale. 
So that was new. I am starting a new chapter in my life, which is really, really cool, and I really wanted the bag. Next, on top of that, was that I still just can't believe I have the bag in person. Like, I see these bags all over YouTube. I see them on Instagram posts, and I just fell head over heels. And I'm like, I want one. I want one so bad. And I finally, 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 finally got a bag, so which is really 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 neat and exciting um but yeah it is i still i'm just at a loss for words at this handbag they make a matching wallet for this bag that i almost picked up but the price was not there for me so i didn't get it but this bag was made in 2017 so it's three years old so it's not a completely old bag but they did stop making this bag for purchase on the website, so I couldn't get it for purchase anymore, so I had to buy it secondhand, which isn't bad. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with secondhand bags because there tends to be a markup on these bags, and yes, the markup's a markup because they don't longer make the bags and sometimes, but sometimes you can get a really good deal. This bag, um, I got a great deal on, and it looks brand spanking new, besides a little bit of wear and tear on the bottom, which is normal, because, I mean, that's where the bag sits. But I am in love with this bag. Like, oh my god, I can't stop looking at it. I need, I need to talk to you guys, and not the bag. Um, but I've been waiting all day for this bag, and I had to, like, as soon as I got it, I hopped in the shower, showered, washed my face real quick, and then filmed this video with you guys, because, oh my god. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And uh, I'm about to wear this bag, see how it wears, if it's for me, if it's not for me, which I'm about to clip this little thing off. And it's going to be for me. And it's in calfskin. So it says Louis Vuitton monogram calfskin kimono. So now I know it's calfskin leather. Still, same thing. As uh, for those of you who do and don't know, Louis Vuitton has been known for their canvas bags. That's what their monogram tends to be and is always canvas. But now they, now I was like, okay, that's cool. Canvas is uh, neat. And uh, another thing about Fashion File is they always give you a file. Oh, give you a file attached to the Fashion File bags, which is really cool. And on the back it says, I like my money, or I can see it in my closet, which is true. I like, I like investing in a good designer handbag because handbags, I tend to invest in handbags that go up in value, or at least hold their value. I don't tend to do like a flashy showboaty bag, I tend to do a bag that I know that I'll use forever, or at least for a long time until I no longer feel like I like it or I need it. But that's where I'm going to wrap up this video today guys, thanks a lot for watching me unbox this bag. I do realize that this is not a like normal video that I do, I usually do flight attending videos. So if you guys like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, hit that push bell notification so you guys can stay up to date for all my future ventures. And if you didn't like this video, I'm sorry. We'll go back to regular vlogging, flight attendant stuff soon. It's just been a crazy, crazy time.